Hey everybody! So this week we did not run, however, we have a bevy of questions to answer for you. Stick around! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! So like we told you, we uh, haven't been running for uh, a week. It's, it's been one week. Uh, oh, and that's Coach wanting to know why we're not running. Why we're not running. Well, because PT said no running for two weeks. Just as a quick reminder, a week from today, we will be running... Actually, I don't know if we've mentioned this yet. I think we did. We will be running the uh, uh, Blue Bonnet Festival 10K. Uh, which happens to coincide with a classic car show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, our hope is we're going to drive our classic car to uh, the town and then uh, run the 10K, share all the footage with you. Uh, it, it, it's going to be really nice. A little uh, small town vibes and hopefully, I think, blue bonnets everywhere. Hopefully. But let's get to what we <clears throat> said we were going to do today, and that's answer some questions. Thank you so much for sending questions Really, really uh, like hearing from you. And now you get to hear our answers. Question number one. Yes. Uh, what's our favorite post-race food at Disney World? Oh, yeah. That's, I think the winner is. I think the winner is Beer Garden. Mm -hmm. the German Beer Garden. German Beer Garden. For longer races. We've done that. We did it after our first Full marathon in 2020. We did it this year. Yeah, we did. Um, and I think we did it during one of the like half marathons for um, Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Um, it's just the life. The food <laughs> is the. It has been for us really, really delicious, and we're vegetarian. Yeah. And they have tons. We have plenty to of eat. vegetarian yeah. options, and then of course you get the show with the the mm -hmm. Oompa band, and and yeah. you know just just the way that uh, if you haven't been in there, the restaurant. It's like you're sitting outside at night in little German town. Uh, it's just really, really nice. Yeah. So yeah, that's our biggie. Now, that's a meal that we really enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, the in 2019, yeah. in 2019 when we did the uh, the rival run challenge for the Star Wars, we went to Le Hall. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry, Le Hall. Le Hall. Le Hall. Thank you, Duolingo. Yes. Uh, to back up a little bit, oh. that was the year that we were staying at Beach Club. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the 10K and the half marathon, we just like, well, on 10K day, we waited for the park to open. Okay. But then once it opened, we just walked through Epcot to our hotel and we were able to like clean up and, you know, mm -hmm. get, make ourselves presentable. But on the way through the park, we stopped on each of those mornings at, yeah. at the two places. Uh, right. Uh, Leal, Leal and Sunshine Seasons. Yeah. So yeah. at Leal, we got some crazy pastries. Oh, look at, look at this pastry. Actually, like, I actually exclaimed, oh my God, this is so good. And <laughs> yeah. people, like, turned around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a guy in the picture, like, a photo bombing, because you were like, holy. It was, <laughs> it was, that pastry <laughs> was good. delicious. Uh, Sunshine Seasons, we got this, uh, like, fudge brownie oh, yeah. cake. It was so many look more calories this. than we burned in the 10K. <laughs> but it was really very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, very good. So uh, that was a fun, those are fun little treats too. Yeah, those are nice. Not not necessarily a meal, but oh man, yeah. if you haven't, you need to try. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Next question. What's our plan for early morning wake ups at uh, Disney World runs? So <laughs> if you're not familiar, these races start very early in the morning, like 5 a.m., and they want you to be there, like four at the very latest. Mm -hmm. You know, because they start closing roads and it gets kind of hairy. Mm -hmm. So, we have a few th things that we do to make that as doable as possible. Uh, the first thing we do is we just plan to go to bed real early. Um, like, I think we shoot for 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. bedtime. We normally make it by like 7. Yeah. You know, um, pull the curtains, make it as dark in there as you can, and just pretend it's bedtime. And, mm -hmm. you know, put on some TV, fall asleep, and try to yeah. try to sleep through yeah. the night. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that we do, or another big thing that we do, is we lay out everything the night before. We have our clothes, like all of our clothes. We have our running packs and like all the food situated and we have breakfast ready to go. Like we have everything ready so that A, we're not gonna forget anything. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and what I've been doing the last couple of races actually is like everything that's on the TV stand, like on the on the desk under the TV, everything that's on there is something that we need to like either have on our bodies or leave with that morning. So it's like, that's an easy way to be like, oh, did we get everything? Oh, we forget this. Yeah. No, just look at the table. If there's stuff on it, you need to grab it before you leave the room. Yeah. And that has been like a pretty good system. Yeah, it's worked really well. Um, Cause uh, if I'm, I I wake up in the morning, but I'm not fully functional. So, so. And we're, uh, we're waking up at like two in the morning. Yeah. So uh, it's awesome, you know, visually it's like, if everything's off of that, then we've, we've got it, mm -hmm. we've grabbed it. And so mm -hmm. that, that's worked really well. Yeah. Um, and, and it's worked for us. Uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's done its job. Best as it yeah. can, yeah. Uh, the one downer is I can't seem to get my body to understand you need to go to the bathroom now, not an hour into the race, but I'm working on it. Working on that one. That, that'll be our fun training for this year's <laughs> yeah, races. Right. So how, uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, um, any dream races? Ooh, yes. We have one big dream race. Yeah. And it was actually one that we were tentatively planning to do in 2021. So we got back from our first marathon in 2020 and we were like, this is amazing. We want to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. um, where else can we do a marathon? Like maybe we'll do other races at, at Disney and we'll, you know, um, we'll see if there are other marathons we want to do. There still are, but we haven't done any marathons other than Disney marathons. Yeah, right. um, and this one is... It, it falls around the same time. It's like mid-January. So it, it would be a either or. Yeah. Like we would have to choose one yeah. um, and, and not do both of them. It's the Maui Oceanfront Marathon. What's not to like? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We, <laughs> we were looking at some video and pictures. I Gorgeous. mean, you're you're running along the ocean yeah. on the island of Maui. Yeah. And it, oh, wow. It just, it looks amazing. And so <clears throat> that, that one. That was the one. Yeah. But, hasn't happened yet. But we missed out because, you know, COVID. <laughs> but, you know, we're, hope, yeah. we're hopeful that we can uh, we can try. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure there are others. Um, I'd like to run some races in Europe. Yeah. You know, whatever. Just yeah. do some other ones. But I don't have, we don't have, I don't think, a specific. A, a specific one yeah. that we have our eye on yeah. there. But yeah. Probably not the biggies because we're too slow for the biggies. Yeah. <laughs> The, the biggies are for, you know, runners. <laughs> you guys are doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. more power to you. <laughs> oh, okie dokie. Okay, would we consider, so we know that Dis Run Disney is bringing back the Disneyland race this next year. So the question is, would we consider the back-to-back -back run weekend? So marathon weekend at, uh, in Florida, followed by Disneyland the next weekend. Uh, yes. Yes. We are considering it. This, um, this this round. Yeah. So we <clears throat> did register for the half marathon in Disneyland. We're, we're set for that one. Yep. When registration for Disney World comes, which is in like a week and a half, yeah. we're going to try for one race. It, there's still a slight bit of debate about which race. It will probably be just the half marathon. It may be the marathon. The only thing that's getting me, they just released the themes this week, and I really like the colors of the marathon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen the uh, the, <laughs> the, the the themes for uh, the uh, Disney World Marathon 2024, holy mackerel, 2024. Um, this is impossible. They're really awesome looking. As a matter of fact, look here, here's a shot of, of uh, the stuff that they've released so far. Yeah, the marathon colors it are awesome. Nice. It's just we're I don't I don't know, man. You know, uh, again, those of you who run dopey, amazing. Those of you who do goofy, freaking amazing. Those of you who are contemplating doing that and then a half marathon a week later. Or then the challenge or the, the week ch later where you're doing the 10K yeah. and the half marathon. Hats off yeah. to you all. That's not how our bodies yeah. can work. So, so today is exactly one week after we ran a half marathon. Mm -hmm. I suppose. I could run a half marathon. I could run a half marathon. Mm -hmm. The problem is, if it was like in the opposite order, I think it wouldn't be a question. If we were running a half marathon one weekend and then a full marathon the next weekend, 
be like, yeah, we could probably pull that off. It's just like a training run and yeah. then a, you know, whatever. Yeah, but, but if going the other way, it's like, I don't know if my body's ready yeah, after a full marathon yeah, to a week later run a half marathon. Yeah, I don't know. So we're still <laughs> debating. We have something like 10 days to figure it out. But, you know, uh, registration hurdles aside, if we get in to Disney mm -hmm. World 2024, uh, we're going to try. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, gonna, we're try. gonna try, and if we don't, we're gonna go cheer on everybody who does yeah. because we have our hotel booked. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Hopefully, actually doing some running that we can. Yeah, yeah we still have our hand clappers. <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Actually, we have. We, how many did we end up buying? I think it was like a it pack was, of five. It was a pack of several, so yeah. we have lots of hand clappers. Yeah. Yeah. We're ready. Okay, so that's that question. Um, how do we handle crowds at races? Ooh, well, you know, lately, we don't have to at all. <laughs> we show up late <laughs> and avoid all the crowds. Yeah, it's amazing. At man. local half marathon. When there's nobody there, it's like, wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, and that's one thing you can't, I don't think you can really train for. I mean, the only way you can is by doing races, yeah, I guess. But, but they all have to, they have to be big enough races. Yeah. Yeah, you to, have to have thousands of Yeah, people. for like the magnitude of a Disney race. So for me, uh, I just, I just understand that everybody's moment uh is different right uh some people's moment you know at the start you know and, and you know you're crowded right so you just kind of have to stay calm uh i think mm -hmm. uh, but at the start everybody has like their way of of doing it some people just like haul and take off some people are still kind of like looking around and stuff some people, right after they cross the start line, Matt, realize they didn't start their watch and they stop right in front of you, right? But the thing is, like, we all, we're all different. And so we just kind of... Uh, we just, we do what we can. And just be careful. Yeah, uh, it's usually slower in the beginning just because we're yeah, kind of packed in yeah. pretty tightly. But what, if we see an opportunity to get around somebody and, like, clear them, mm -hmm. we'll pop around them yeah and keep going yeah uh but sometimes that doesn't happen yeah. um sometimes it's hard you know just kind of roll with sometimes it. you see an opening it's like ooh, and like go for there's it. an opening for one of us yeah not the other mm. and then, and then a, no no then a pair of like tinkerbell wings comes out oh and my it's gosh like, oh, yeah you know so and yeah. it's we just i think the thing with us is we know that we're slow and and yeah. and so we don't it's not like, oh my gosh, you know. We're not trying to beat anything. Yeah, we're, we're just trying to finish. And, and so we just kind of remain pretty pretty chill about it. Yeah. And uh, just, you know, move around, understanding that eventually it's going to open up. Eventually, you know, uh, we'll, we'll pass some people or we'll get past. And then, and then you just end up having room. So It's a very zen-like approach. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay that is crowds okay how do we handle walk breaks it's a good question yeah so usually what we do is we run until our bodies don't want to run anymore right. and then we walk we would probably benefit from like more regular walk breaks mm -hmm. but we don't but have... we don't we don't regiment them we just run until we don't want to run and then we walk until sometimes until we feel like we want to run again which those are normally the longer walk breaks <laughs> but sometimes we're like okay my heart rate has like yeah. settled down let's let's kick it back yeah. um, one thing we've tried to do the last few years because we used to like when it was walk break time we'd be like you know the way you walk when you lose your car in the <laughs> like, parking lot and you're looking for it that's the way we used to walk so we've tried to pick it up <clears throat> yeah. on our walk breaks yeah. and that has helped our overall you know, average time yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Where we try to like keep a good clip yeah. when we do walk. We've gotten much better about that. Matter of fact, that 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 played out well for us at the half marathon we just ran a week ago, because it, it was tough for us because we hadn't really trained properly for it, uh, and then the hills were just really massive. So our walk breaks, like even up the hills, we we were like really mm -hmm. intentional Some about like let, let's keep a good rhythm. And I think at one point you said sometimes I think I walk faster than I run. I know I do. Yeah, I get do. to a certain point, especially going up hills, yeah. where I feel like I'm just running in place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can walk it faster. Yeah. So so that's basically what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, run till we can't and then... Uh... Uh, also, when we... Usually, if we need to take a food or drink oh, break, yeah. we'll usually walk. Yeah. Because we found that while we can run and eat, we like slow down. Like our legs just slow mm -hmm. down while we're thinking about other stuff and doing other mm -hmm. stuff. 
So sometimes it's just easier just to like stop, walk, eat some Jelly Bellies, yeah. or eat some, you know, whatever, and uh -huh. take a drink and then, okay, now we can go walk. And through water stops, if we actually need to get like a cup of water, there's no way I'm drinking that while I'm running. It's just not happening. Uh, it, I mean, I can, I can do it. It's going up my nose. Uh, but it's all here. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of my ear somehow. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how that happened. Yeah, right. <laughs> Drinking from our water bottles, I can run. Yeah, right? that seems to be easy. like squeezing, and, you know. But <laughs> yeah, out of cups, forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what we do. Yeah, we think about doing a walk. Like sometimes, like maybe we should try the Galloway, like you know, time to walk around. But the mental game of it, I don't think I can handle. We've tried it before, and it's like no matter what length of time we did for either one the walk breaks seem minuscule and the run portions seem like hours long it's just like it, it messes with my head yeah, and i can't yeah. it's just like a mental yeah. trip up i can't get and it, it it works extremely well mm -hmm. i mean it's an amazing uh uh program and you know walk runners pass us all the time uh, but i don't know for some reason and then, they we just, pass them. Yeah. And then they pass us and then we pass them mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah Every single race of my life yeah, that yeah, has happened. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. Last question. Favorite travel destination. Okay. So, two party. Favorite travel destination that we've been to. Okay. And bucket list. Uh, well, the first one's kind of tough because we have. All of our trips are. Yeah. We, we've had them. We go tons of places. Yeah. And not all of them are like super sexy, you know. Some of them are just you know, places. <laughs> just places yeah. that we pick, but yeah. we have a great time. We find yeah. good stuff oh, yeah, yeah. to do no matter where we are. We could be in the Midwest, we could be uh -huh. uh, in the Northeast, mm -hmm. we could be at Disney, we could be in Europe, yeah, we could right. be in Canada. So, we, everywhere we've gone. Some Canada. highlights we had a fantastic time in Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, it was beautiful there, and, and uh, we, we had a wonderful time. Yeah. Uh, that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Another one I think was the real like awesome trip. We went to Munich. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, a beautiful time there and traveled to uh, uh, Salzburg. And uh, I mean, that was that trip we still talk about. Yeah. Because uh, it, it was just really, really wonderful. Uh, yeah. But I mean, we love all our trips. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, those are some highlights. Yeah. Bucket lists. <clears throat> well, for sure, we really, really, really want to travel to Belgium. Mm -hmm. We've been planning it. Uh, we're even learning uh, uh, three languages in preparation. For it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. So we're uh, we're uh, uh, beefing up our German mm -hmm. language, uh, and we're learning French, and we're learning Dutch. So uh, I think that 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 yeah. should cover Belgium really well. So we're hopeful we can go to Belgium, have some. Uh, wonderful beer yeah. uh some uh, uh waffles mm -hmm. chocolate and, and, oh yeah man yeah so anyway that yeah. right now that is something yeah. we're uh we we have been planning for and hoping to do so we'll see yeah we'll see i mean we want to go a lot of places yeah you know? we want to go back to germany we want to go to the uk mm -hmm. we want to go back to canada mm -hmm. yeah yeah anyway yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a long bucket list because it's like Everywhere that when we're talking about it or we're watching TV or we're doing whatever, it's like, ooh, how about there? Yeah, yeah. How about there? We have a long list. Yeah. We want, you know, uh, another one we wanted to do, <clears throat> we wanted to take our classic car along uh, Route 66, mm -hmm. you know, kind of do that and see, you know, if, if it's possible and, and, you know, look at all the places and stuff. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, anyway that's it. Thank you for your question. Yeah. Because we really didn't have anything else to do today. Yeah. Since we didn't run. So. Thanks for watching. Keep sending us questions. Mm -hmm. uh, reminder, we're going to run the uh, Blue Bonnet Festival uh, 10K in a week. So we'll have a video up next week yep. uh, of us actually running. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and thanks uh, thanks for PT. Uh, you know, that's it's, uh, feeling uh, even mm -hmm. more possible now. Mm -hmm. If you haven't and you've watched this video and liked it, please subscribe, hit like, hit notifications, because you'll find out as soon as we upload a video. Uh, th this is uh, exciting times because you know the weather is kind of kind of changing and yeah. you know spring is springing and yeah. all that good stuff and now we get to start. The pollen planning. is blossoming. Oh, we love it! Can you tell? <clears throat> Can you tell? We are just Did loving. Did some yard work today. <laughs>
yeah. it's in my sinuses. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> anyway, you know, you know what? Because it's always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.